get your shit together, get your shit together, get your Hi guys and welcome to my channel. As you can see, my oh, Jess in my desk is really tidy at the moment. Um, I have been wanting to do a YouTube channel for ages now and I'm so, so, so pumped that I can actually do it now. So, I thought the best way to introduce myself, if you don't know who I am, um, is to answer some fun facts that you might not already know. So, I've got my little piece of paper here. Um, number one. My name, my parents were supposed to name me either Vanessa or Victoria. They really wanted a V name. Um, and as soon as I came out, they were like, mm, I think she's a Samantha. And I hate that name, Samantha. So, a boyfriend actually started, I used to be known as Sam. Um, and then a when I introduced myself to my last boyfriend, he was like, Sam's a boy's name, I'm gonna call you Sammy. And then Sammy has stuck ever since, and now I don't like being called anything else but Sammy. I hate my own handwriting. I just think I'm so messy, um, and I can't seem to make it tidy. It just doesn't work. And my handwriting changes all the time. Like, sometimes it will be straight, sometimes it will be on a lean, sometimes it will be fat, sometimes it will be thin. Like, my hand just can't decide what kind of style it wants to do. Um, number three, I have really big tonsils. I could show you, but it might be a bit gross. Okay, I'll show you. Are you ready? Oh my God. You really need the light in there to have a good look. But number four, I have bungee jumped. I have never skydived, but I really want to. I actually had it booked in Austria when I was over there, um, but the weather was really crappy, so we didn't get to do it. Number five, I wear contacts. I am short-sighted, so it means that I can see what's close up, but far away, I end up going like this. Or I've actually found, if I do this, and like squint, I can see, but it's probably easier just to wear contacts. Number six, I'm addicted to action movies. Um, any kind of action movie, I just I love them so much. And not by like, that's an action movie, I want to watch it. It just happens that all the ones that I love are action movies. And if I was to choose, it would be an action movie. Number seven, um, I used to be a really fast reader until I turned about eight or nine and I had a really shitty teacher at school who um, I can't remember quite exactly what she used to do to me I just remember she would intimidate me and so I would get really scared and like not talk and shut completely shut down and um, yeah now I'm like a super slow reader so thanks for that because I never just got I never got back into reading and I'm really bad I don't think I remember the last time I read a book. Actually, I read Crystal Fuentes' um, How to Be Hot book recently, but before that, and I only read it because she's a beautiful friend of mine, and I think that what she does is amazing. <laughs> so, before that, I probably would say I haven't read for like 10 years. Uh, how many tattoos do I have? Um, I have three. I have one on my wrist that says, Feel the Rhythm. Um, another little love heart um, that the girls and I got in Mexico when, for Ashy's hymns. Um, just something fun and YOLO. Um, and it's really cute. And I have an S and a P on my ankle for um, Sammy and Petra, my sister. And she has the same one on the same ankle. I have danced my entire life. Um, ballet, jazz, mostly. Um, then hip hop, contemporary, lyrical tap but I'm like a beginner tap um, I'm doing singing at the moment and I'm playing piano and if I can play the drums I'll play the drums um, I moved to Sydney when I was 18 I literally had I just didn't even think I was like yep I'm going to Sydney I actually wanted to move when I was 16 but my parents wouldn't let me um, but I moved there for 
for a performing arts course at Brent Street, which is like a really high-end dance studio, dance performing arts course. I am obsessed with smells. I like spray so much perfume because I'm so paranoid about smelling. Like have so much gum in my car, I'm always wearing deodorant and I sniff things. Like the first thing I'll do if you show me something new is I'll be like, mm, smell it. I don't know why. I'm just really obsessed with smells and stuff that smells good. I am literally notorious for running out of petrol. Like I will ride that E empty for as long as I can. I've gotten a lot better now with time and age, but there was a time there when I would call my mum like every week, mum, I'm stuck at so-and-so, I ran out of gas. She's like, oh my God. I actually ran out of gas so much. I actually did it in Sydney. I had gone to the petrol station and I got an ice cream and my boyfriend and I were driving through the tunnel, the Lane Cove tunnel in Sydney, after the petrol station and I ran out of gas. <laughs> and then I held up everyone in the tunnel until a tow truck came to tow me to the next petrol station. So I've definitely learnt my lesson after that, but I still push the boundaries a little bit. I have a scar on my knee. Um, I had an operation when I was probably, I think I was about 14 or 15. Um, the scar is from a lump that was caused, you guys in Australia call them um, biddies. We call them a prickle, a prickle. <laughs> We call them prickle. So this piece of like stick or something got into my knee when I was younger and then it broke up into little pieces and then cartilage and fluid and nerves and stuff built up into this little ball and then this ball, like golf ball was on my knee and it was growing and I was dancing and it hurt so much that I, they, they actually thought it was cancer to start off with so they wanted to take it out but that's what they found out it was. Just like cartilage, fluid, all this kind of shit in my knee so I have a big scar it's about that big on my knee I love to go fishing um, something about it my dad and I do it all the time and so does my sister it's just like a thing to do so I guess I have a, a nice connection to it but I absolutely love to fish I am always the only female on a charter boat I went traveling in 2013 and I have a thing about collecting magnets everywhere I go. I don't display them anywhere, I just feel like one day I might want to. <laughs> so every city I go to I buy a magnet. Weird I know. Um, I can't cook to save me. I mean I can burn rice, I'm, I'm, I can cook basic stuff like steamed vegetables and I just can't cook rice. <laughs> Ask me to experiment or make something with all the ingredients out of the cupboard you got no chance like I'm gonna need the next boyfriend's gonna need to know how to cook let's face it because they ain't gonna get anything from me <laughs> I'm 28 years old and I'm a Libra baby my favorite drink when I go out is probably an espresso martini I hate orange lollies anything orange I just hate I don't like it at all I don't know what it is I just think that the flavor is, is disgusting Oh, I need some breeze on my lips are dry. Um, over the past 28 years, I have lived in 13 different houses. Um, and all of those moves have been in the last 10 years. <laughs> so, pretty crazy. I've been in Australia for 10 years, which is scary and crazy as well. Um, but yeah, so those are the facts about me. Hopefully, you've learned something new. Um, just makes me feel really connected with you all. So you will have lots of new videos coming soon and I can't wait to share some things with you. I will speak to you very soon. Mwah.